I wanted to create the biggest human chain in the world and painting Antrolens in hands like that to speak about togetherness, how it is important to find a global solution. And all my goal is to impact people without impacting nature. And I used to paint a huge biodegradable fresco directly on the grass on a natural surface. I'm here in Miami Beach for the Scope Art Show and I will paint directly on the beach. All right. Ah, this is Garisha. Good morning, Keith. Nice to meet you. Nice Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Finally. Yeah, here we go. We're all coming in. How are you doing? Good. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. That's cool. Hi, yeah. team. Hello, team. This is, it's a bit chillier right now, but it'll get very sunny and very humid. So I'll take this for, for a moment. All right. Okay. So here we are. Here we are. Est-ce qu'on le cale comme ça, ce truc, maintenant, le long de la plage, ou bien? La barrière derrière. C'est les passages où ils vont tout le temps passer. Il faut pas se rapprocher plus a priori. When I was 14, I start to painting wall by making graffiti, you know. And I think at this time it was to exist in society because you know, you are looking for what you want to be at this age, I think. And for me I I find this tool to express myself and to let trace behind me, you know. I'm here. I'm here. I I exist. You can take one shot. So we just took some drone picture to know what it's like yep. from the top because between what I saw in Google Earth and what I'm seeing here, there's ev everything is different. So I have to adapt everything in last minute. The drone came in Europe in 2012, about. So I thought, oh, I can find a new point of view in the world, very easy to get. In this artwork that will represent two hands, this little girl drawing this, that means the future for me, but we don't forget the past generation because they are included, involved in this human chain. This is what I will create here. This is a traveling project, you know, I started in Paris in 2019. So we're traveling all around the world to make this biggest human chain to speak again how it is important to be together. This is the first project which is called Beyond Walls that I work on. I got another series which is called Human Story and I used to paint children, all people most of the time to speak about the different questions that I have. And the last series that I have is called Trash and I used to paint huge west everywhere to speak about our link with nature and with consumerism. We are waiting for the technical meeting. So this is at 10. So we are ready to bring the stuff there and we will start then to, to work. There's a lot of wind that will be hard to manage for me. But again, the, the sand is heavy, so I think that will not blow away so, so quickly. The thing is, as you can see, there's a lot of bird everywhere. So I think that will make a lot of trace on my, on my fresco. We work with nature. No lightning, no clouds, no storm clouds. Okay. So we're looking, we're looking pretty clear. That's cool. All the tracks, we need to remove them. Okay. And that's our I big question. I will say I can't remove the tracks because of the lifeguards. So the lifeguard hut is right at there. So they also use the golf cart here. But they won't go through here, right? From now on. They, if it's an emergency, they might. Yeah, well, once we have the fence up, no. But at the moment, we can't yes. stop them yet. Yeah. So when will the fence be on? Tomorrow. They're starting at 8 a.m. So this is the artwork that we will do. Mm -hmm. So now we are right, something there. So I think the, the artwork, we go from this point right. to okay. this point. Okay, great. Okay. Mais parce qu'ils n'ont pas, ils ont pas prévu ils ont pas les barrières. Et s'ils si n'ont pas fermé, ça, ils ne veulent pas qu'on foute les piquets parce que sinon les gens se blessent. As always, it's complicated. We have to manage because 
Uh, normally we, th we thought that the, the fans will be there today and we can't start today because it, without the fans people will walk on the fresco on the, where we are working so we are looking for finding a, a solution. To create an art truck it's a long journey. There's a lot of challenge to overcome. Each project is very specific, you know, because the rules of the ground, of the surface, of the weather, of the people, everything is everywhere different. So I think the best thing that I have to learn is to adapt myself everywhere. In Colombia in 2018, it was the first time in South America, you know, and it was crazy. For sure, I chose the outer place, you know, at the top of a hill, 20 meters walk, and arriving on site, the generator broke, and my compressor broke, and I was like, all right, no pigments, no generator. You have to find a way to bring in. It was, you know, 12 hours in the house of Bogota. I was like, oh, f and you have to find a way to make it happen. And it's always like that, always like that. On va au storage pour aller chercher notre matos. Come on in! What are these trash cans for? This is to mix the paint. You know, we bring pigments, water, and we mix the paint directly on place because as it's eco-friendly, we can't buy everywhere. So it's my own paint, so we have to mix it on place. And this is a cook. This is a guy who makes the paint. The chemist. The chemist. As you prefer. I think we should try to walk a little bit. Preparing your canvas. Exactly. Because, as you see, there is an artificial land and they did a very flat thing. And for me, it's not that much natural, you know. And I prefer let it like everywhere in the beach. So we are making as the people do normally. I mean, to walk on the beach to make it normal. So that's why we are doing this kind of strange thing. <laughs> it's not my job. It's not my job. <laughs> we did what? 20 projects together now? Still waiting for the fun part. Huh? <laughs> the real fun part is when you see the first time the picture with the drone. Every time you still get the same surprise, really that he does it without looking, and when you see it from the top, it does the trick every time. Even for me, you know, because I, I, I didn't see before what it looked like from the top, so I'm like, oh, this is cool, oh, it's bad, eh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> this is so <laughs> The baby. <laughs> As I paint on a natural surface, that makes no sense to, to use a not eco-friendly paint, so, from the very beginning, I'm very interesting to have a 100% eco-friendly paint, which is most of the time made from chalk and charcoal. And I use another natural thing, which is called casein, which is a protein of milk. My goal is to minimize my impact. So the paint will stay between one day and two months. It's depend of the grain of the grass, of how the surface will move, but it's very ephemeral. And I love the idea that I let no trace on nature but I can lay trace in memories. You know, it was a long process. To be sure that I didn't damage nature, I did a lot of tests in the garden of my parents, you know, on the, uh, on the ground, and to see again the evolution. For example, before that I go to paint in one place, I see the, the biodiversity and I see the, how the, the ground is. Now I will go only where the human did something. For example, when I go to the Swiss Alps, I always use a land which is already used for cows of this kind of stuff. And then I put the cows before I'm going, they cut the grass for me, I put it out and I can pant. Okay, ça marche. Tu, tu fous le piqué au centre ou à top? Super. Okay. We are going to the printer because all the project is about making a piece of art to make an auction and to give the benefits to the association. So we have to see if the framer and the print is as I expect. I think the effect is better on that, but as an emotion... It's just for the painting, because you have a lot of details in the zone of the sound, and you have lost everything. Alright, but I think it's going to look very nice when you have a matte photography. We're going to print on matte paper, cotton, uh, and then this contrast. 
is the only one available in the industry. The other option would be like using two sheets of, of no, that foam. Really like, better like that, I think. The tricky part is usually these kind of details and then the highlights that it doesn't do any bending on this kind of thing. All right. Ça va très bien. Je pense que ça fera ça. Le noir, on peut le tirer encore un, un peu. Un tout petit peu, ouais, mais ça va. Il le fera. We did this project to support an association who uh, make the depolution of this ocean. Oh wow. The sea cleaners. How many meters? 150. Meters? Yeah. Oh wow, that's huge. Yeah, 450 yeah. feet. Uh, yeah, that's it was huge. a big one. Yeah. Work on sand right now. Yeah. It is nightmare for me because oh, yeah. you know the sand move uh -huh. and I can't walk on the fresco, so I have to manage to make a, a kind of plan in my head. There is know. a way to fix it, maybe in the sand. No, that's yeah, well, that's no tricky. Way. The sand <laughs> is tricky too. because all my philosophy is to, to to let the less traces on nature that I can. Uh -huh. So it's a little layer. So if there was a wind that uh -huh. would blow away, if I walk on it, the birds, the the birds. Oh, we wow. saw the birds. We say, oh. Tide, yeah. So, but it's don't bring food to to the yeah the exactly. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome, my friend. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure to us. Yeah. Great. Work on Thank your you. Beautiful work. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Pardon, moi ça m'inquiète de pas avoir la réponse de Carisha pour les trucs là parce qu'il passe encore 4 mètres de fraise. Là-bas, c'est pile dans la montre et tout, ça va être ultra chiant à refaire. Je pense aussi. Ok, feu. Au moins, les gens voient qu'il se passe quelque chose. We end up at cool. We are starting to map because you know I put some stick of wood to understand where I am on the ground. So we have to put with some metal and to stick a little bit to map finally to scale the ground to understand where I am. I'm going to check the wind for the following day. Tomorrow a little bit less, 20 knots, and then on Thursday it's okay. Est-ce qu'on arrivera à faire beaucoup mieux que ça? This is a big day. I have to finish all the painting today, so we will try. We are making the different shades of grey. À mon avis, c'est pas mal ça. I will do a three different one gray and one black and white. I got my baby and it's working. I'm the only one who paint because sometimes the people think we are 50 people painting but <laughs> I would like, I mean to say, please help me a little bit because it's tiring. Let's do it. As it's ephemeral, you know, it's very exciting that we have only two weeks to see it, three weeks, it's, it's a very short time. And sometimes I think that if I do a mural, for example, the people think, oh, I can go in one year, it will be still there. In my case, you have to come at the right time. If you don't come, that will be done. Maybe I hope that we will be inspiring for people. We don't need words to understand what I'm speaking about. It's universal. 